the 2030 comprehensive plan is the official representation of the policy of the county. It has been adopted as such by the county. It is clearly stated that that's what it is. That being said, the whole purpose in a 2030 plan is to try to forecast what will be best for the county as far as development. How you want, what area of the county you want development to move into. A project that happened, that happened years ago when I was at the Jordan was we were encouraging industrial park creation in the state of the rural communities. Let's create an industrial park. Let's make it, uh, let's give some tax abatements. Let's create jobs by creating these areas that are close to roads and things like this to create. And that was part of something that would be included in a comprehensive plan. This is where you want industry to site. And, and it is my contention that the state model ordinance that follows that, they, they want to, you want to cite this thing where it's the most non-intrusive to the community and the manner in which you're living your lives in this rural area. And, you know, it's a de-incentive, disincentive to retire. A few years ago, Moultrie, I don't know if you recall, was, had billboards on the interstate trying to encourage people to move to Moultrie out of retirement as someone to move for their retirement. And that's because of the rural estate. You want to move to an area that's, that's, that's bucolic and, and nice, and, and that helps an economy because those are government dollars that are coming into the economy that because of the money multiplier effect rolls back through the economy. Now, they'll tell you all these jobs are going to be created. They'll bring in a lot of people from out of state to do most of the high-paying jobs. They will, they will go to the convenience stores, and for 12 months, there'll be a boom. There'll be a boom in, and this happened over in Mitchell County with the Staple Trail Pipeline. There, there are two convenience stores over there that I know about that, that boomed during this period. It was full of people. Every time you went by there, it was almost like a circus. Within three months of the project construction phase ending at that location, these stores, these stores were gone. It, the, the county has a duty, the all its commissioners, to, to forecast growth, to protect growth in a manner in which it does the most for the county. The county's got about 13,000 roads. If you change it to an energy district, if you have pipelines coming through, and then you have thousands upon thousands of solar panels. You're going to open the door, like I said, to other people coming into the areas and clear-cutting for us. <clears throat> It'll just be the value, whatever they can get the value for, the cheapest, the best way. You're going to end up with areas where people can afford an attorney to represent them to come in and fight these things, to be disadvantaged by it. And you're going to have these areas clear-cut. You're going to have more of this. And you're going to say, well, we don't want you to do that. But at that point, you'll have <coughs> this president by allowing all these, by these two projects to come in here and bootstrap upon each other. Whereas you may have denied instantly <coughs> a project as large as the two projects to buy. Or you might have denied the addition of the new project expansion. They're trying to get the second one in by saying the first one was approved. The first one's good, so we're gonna we're gonna jump right in there. Included in this packet you have are the petitions of over 750 people that were that are off the internet. And then you have letters from landowners in Brooks County uh, and from other places. Well from Brooks County are only land in Brooks County that lay out their objections to why they don't believe the commission should do this. And though I'm speaking for several different individuals in the room tonight, they have deferred to me to speak. In their heart, this is something they don't want to occur. You'll, you'll look through these and they, they lay out the, the reasons, and then you'll also see a, a very comprehensive uh, letter from Tall Timbers at, regarding the uh, the project, the, the negative news coverage that was had in the area about the project, and then 
the go for like the go for tour. Mr. Waters has your time, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Polk, is he here?